Hello guys, this is Peter and you are looking AVA Media Channel. Today we continue our series about Sonoffs. In this episode we will connect the Sonoff Mini to our phone and we will later on in this episode connect our Sonoff devices through the EV Link software to the Google Home so you can activate your, your devices only with your voice comments. And later on in the next episode, we will apply our own software, the test motor, on the Sonoff. So we are independent from the EVLink software, which are coming originally with this product. So if you would like to see this episode, subscribe for the channel and stay with us. We start right now. Okay, here we are by the computer. By the computer, so you can see here on the left side what is happening live on the mobile phone. We have the same setup. We have the Sonoff Mini, a cable, a power source and a building lamp so we can see what we have done. The first step is to go to the Play Store, but on uh, an Apple device it is the same you are looking for ev link you install the software and by the first opening he requires a registration we don't go through the registration now because then i lose all my settings but it is a very very simple registration and then you get to this page although without the sonops what i already installed by the way if we are in the Play Store, we can search for Google Home. You install the Google Home, open it, and later on we will add our son of devices to the Google Home so you can actuate your son of devices via voice activation. I will show this. But first of all, we connect now this son of with our cell phone. I switched the lights off that you can see much better how this LED is blinking. I plug the device in, it starts and begins to blink exactly like this. On your cell phone you find a plus sign here on the button and you see quick pairing on the top. This blinking behavior is for quick pairing. Newer son of devices like the P20 and the son of Mini are blinking like this because they can be connected by quick pairing. Sometimes. If the device is older it will blink quite fast but simultaneously then you have to use the compatible pairing mode on the bottom. If you plug in the sun off, it will blink like this and it is waiting for the quick pairing mode. But to save time and we know that the sun off software is not the best, you push the button for over 7 seconds. So it flashes quick like this. You select the bottom menu, compatible pairing mode. It shows how the son of should blink. Check. The cell phone should be connected to the Wi-Fi where you want the son of to connect later on. You enter the password and push next. Normally the cell phone should change now the Wi-Fi to the one the son of is sending. This is not happening always. So you probably need to go to your Wi-Fi menu and force the cell phone to connect to the ETHEAD Wi-Fi, which is the Wi-Fi of the Sonoff. You go back then to the software, uh, 
You wait for the question if he should connect to the Wi-Fi even if there is no internet. Yes. The software sees the son off. It sends the information for the Wi-Fi to it. A couple of seconds later, the son off will be registered. And you can give a unique name to your son of. You see that the LED on the son of is on, and in the software, we can see the new son of item by pressing the off button. The son of goes on and off. My advice is as the first step to push the three dots, go to the settings and try to update the firmware. Mostly the son of is not shipped with the actual firmware. So the light is on and now I can show you how you can connect a son of with Google Home. By Google Home you can actuate your son offs via voice command like this. OK Google, Test einschalten. OK Google, Test ausschalten. This will work like this. You go to the Google Home program on your cell phone. You push the plus sign. You push the plus sign again. As we use EV Link, you push the button option. In the search, you search to EV Link. You push this button and then he asks your email address and password, which you registered by EV Link. If you put it in right, all your Sonoff devices will show up in this list. As you see, here is test. Google Home takes the device names always from EV Link. If you change the name there, it will be changed here. And now you see test on and test off. So this was the video for today. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends. And in the next episode, we will apply our own software to this son of so no one can steal our data. Ewilling is uh, has a server in China and all our informations could be stored there, but we doesn't want this. A short information for everyone. For all purposes, the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi password you saw in this video is not attached to my main network. The Wi-Fi where all my Sonops are working are a separate network on separate devices. So if someone want to hack me through the Sonoffs, they do doesn't come to my computers and my cell phones because physically they are not connected. So see you next time. Bye bye.